listening to Anthony, Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. ABC, I'm looking at a story without a trace. I heard a teaser for it. It's cruise passengers lost at sea. Apparently, that guy that uh, they found that blood streak and he was missing and they still haven't solved it. His wife. From a while back, you think it was his wife? Yeah, there's a couple of Russian guys involved and there was drinking and some gambling and I don't know. It, things just happen and no one knows what it is. So now they're trying to uh, figure out a way to keep people from missing. But apparently, he's not the only guy. Like, this now is now a news story where they're scaring people. I want to know how many fucking people. Have you ever been on a cruise ship? Oh, I love it. Dude, how can you not ever not be missing? If, if you right. ever walked on the edge of that platform uh-huh. and just, like, said, you, you know up. what? Uh, let me just let me just jump. Like, it's just like you just feel that. I think we talked about this, just yeah. that you feel the, the mermaid or whatever. You know what that is. Siren. That siren. And I heard it. You. I wanted to jump off because the sea is so... Dominant over your life it's at that moment, and you just want to just go in there and do the and do the Titanic sink just to see what the abyss is all about. And these these it's easy to be missing on these boats. Yeah, man. you think it's suicide? You think it's yes. people jumping? You, I'm a str- I think I'm a strong minded person because I get a lot of thoughts in my head that I control without medicine. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? I, I can control violence. You know, suicide. Those uh-huh. thoughts creep in when you're just sitting around like you know what the fuck is life all about? Let me just. Just, let me just smash my face into a bus, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, or, yeah. or kill a motherfucker just to see. Right. Just to see. But I have a natural medicine, you know, that I can 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 muster up in my whole... So, but when I was on the on the ship, I was standing on the edge. I was doing something, I think, for Comedy Central or something. I was just standing on the end of that boat, and the, the darkness and the water swishing and yeah. the... It I know what those sailors back in you the know huge one you know the Columbus yeah. the Christopher Columbus motherfuckers killed themselves. There's something calling you to jump in and kill yourself. Especially back then when there was no you know tuxedo night at the uh, Th- that's why they at had the dining that room stuff to take your stuff. mind off of killing yourself. Is that what all the good stuff the casino the shows. The, the the stop at the port so you could go to the beach and see some land. It's because they know if they that. just leave you out there long enough without any distractions, everyone's jumping overboard. Paranoia. I know there's some maritime documents somewhere. <laughs> yeah. From some old time with a, written with a quill, <laughs> like on brown curled up paper somewhere. Like in the movie The Thing when they find the Russian ship that right. all the Russians fought the monster and is the one last survivor who has a tape. And he's like, listen, don't ah, ah. and and it, they have things like that from from when people used to do all those mer- that there's something calling me into the water into and the people, uh, water and, and it's true, man. I wanted to. It's the weirdest thing. Wait, wait. Let's go to a phone call. You guys were talking about the missing guy on that cruise ship with yeah. blood stain and the Russian mafia and all that shit. I was on that ship. He did not commit suicide. I saw the blood, and I'm telling you, from the height where that guy's room was to that blood stain, there's no way just falling could create that amount of blood. I was on the same ship before it went over to the Mediterranean. Where oh, yeah? This guy was. Yeah, they were, and they were talking about how the ship was going from the Caribbean, where I was, uh, and that it was going to be dry docked, refitted with some shit, and then they were going to send it over to the Mediterranean, and that's the cruise that the guy died on. Uh, yeah. So I... I know what it looks like off of those upper balconies. And, uh, yeah, there's no way to get to jump to the water from up there. You're hitting that overhang that hangs over the lifeboat. <laughs> exactly. And, and that seems to be where that big blood smear came from. Uh, yep. He he might have jumped, but I think there's too many things that are going on. Those Russian guys. Uh, and they were everywhere. That seems to be a little sketchy there. Two Russian guys, the woman, the casino, kind of an argument. Ah. Yelling, she goes to sleep, he disappears. I don't know. Get some night vision in the water. And you, you can, it's, it's, you're done if you fall in that ocean in the middle, that, that damn Atlantic or Pacific, wherever you are. It's just once you're in there, done. it's been a pleasure. There is such nothingness out there that you. Just, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> if you don't die the second you hit that water, could you imagine bobbing up and down and watching that huge ship pull away from you? And, and the <laughs> darkness... And the utter quiet, like you'd hear that ship go away, and then, and then you just, 
<laughs> and and it even... is so completely dark. And you don't hear, you don't even hear that, um, what's that, buoy bell? That no, bu- couple of <laughs> seagulls. Do you cry? Like, do you, as you're floating there, do you just take a deep breath? I don't know. It depends on if you could, could try to commit suicide or if you fell off. You fell off. You are so fucked. And there's no help. And that horse shit you see on Love Boat where somebody falls off and there's a, uh, and the there's a, little, there's a lifesaver flying. Yeah. Right, right. Julie, the cruise director, throws your fucking life preserver. Man overboard. There's no Ain't fucking happening. man. Over. If I jumped over when, I, when, I, when the sirens were calling me on that yeah. ship, I'd, it would have just been a, a, a clunk. That yeah. Nobody except for somebody that was thinking about killing himself too. Yeah. Saw me jump. Well, look at that. I oh know. shit! Somebody. <laughs> I ain't doing this shit. This yeah. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker jumped off the boat. <laughs> if you if you meant to kill yourself, you still got your crazy head on, so you're probably gonna just try to drown. Whatever. If you fell overboard, the, I think the first thing that goes through your head is, what time is it? Who knows? Like in a split second. What time is it? Who knows I'm missing? How long is it going to take for people to think? As that thing is just going away, you're probably thinking, how long is it going to be before they realize I'm missing? And you got to find them in the ocean. And you got to and you got to get coordinates of where you uh, might be. Done. And then where you floated. You're listening to Anthony. You know, once you board a cruise ship, you really are in the hands of the cruise ship company. Whoops. But if something goes wrong, what happens? Who's responsible? Well, that is the subject of that special hearing on, Congr- on Capitol Hill this afternoon. I can't talk. And it comes just days after another cruise ship passenger has disappeared. When Royal Caribbean's Jewel of the Seas returned to Florida on Sunday, another Royal had Caribbean. one less passenger than when it departed. A Canadian, 59-year-old Jill Begora, was last seen by her husband on Saturday morning as the ship approached the port of Nassau in the Bahamas. A search by a U.S. Coast Guard ship and the Bahamian Navy found no trace of her. Bahamian her Navy. family just wants to know what happened. It's just too much to comprehend, you know. We, um, I hope everything's all right, but you know how those things are sometimes. You're hoping everything, like she's going to turn up. Oh, I was, uh, I was just taking a swim. I like swimming. Then you just ask a question like... Um, what's you, the percentage of when people are missing on these boats? What's the percentage that you find them? That alive? actually come back. <laughs> Can you please find them? The Some one guy, guy lost, <laughs> lost in the place where they keep like the vegetables, <laughs> way in the hold, somewhere in the bilge. It's Tom Hanks. <laughs> I was looking for the, uh, I was looking for the pool deck. That's probably it. Either you're killing yourself or someone is killing you. There's got to be people that plan it out and go, look, we'll be on a cruise ship, maybe slipper a little Mickey. And then give her the heave ho. They'll never find her to do toxicology. What goes through your mind when you're, because you're already committed at the heave ho. What goes through your mind when you're like, honey, we're going on a cruise. <laughs> Can you hold the tickets up knowing I'm going to kill this fucking bitch? The ticket wave. <laughs> yeah, the ticket wave. You got both of them in your hand. You're waving them like a fan. Nassau, all right. And then we're going to St. Martin. And then heave ho. And I think you got to plan where your room is. You want your room at the back of the ship, right? Yeah. Buy the bitch a rock coat from Jamaica. Oh. <laughs> this the new rock coat, man. It's made of stone. It's made of stone. <laughs> Zip the rock coat and t- throw overboard. <laughs> He throw this rock coat on, man. You want to buy a beautiful rock coat? <laughs> we'll braid her hair with some big stones. This is a big stone, man. Yo, get the... <laughs> Did you get her the stone flip-flops too, man? Some fucking Jamaican knows the deal. Oh. Right. <laughs> People dancing on the upper deck. And you bump the bitch off right in the conga line? Come on, everybody. <laughs> 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 Come on, one more time around the promenade. <laughs> oh. Oh. Everybody Sink win. like a rock, rock, rock. <laughs> Wait, oh. your rock, rock coat. <laughs> Come on, everybody. <laughs> oh. First, you got to get rid of it. <laughs> rock her on the head. <laughs> That's what she hears. That's <laughs> 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 the fucking boat. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I found a friend. <laughs> what goes through your mind? <laughs> oh, no. And then, then reality sinks in and... <laughs> It's over. Best of both. <laughs> Sailor. Oh, that whole that whole ocean will be green from my yellow piss and that oh, blue water. Done. I just would die. Uh, yeah, like I said, you got to be in the back of the boat, one of the lower balconies, so that way no one, you know, is going to see the body floating by. Once they're off, nobody, the back of the boat. Nobody's gonna anyway. It, you said you've been on a cruise. Oh yeah. You've been on a cruise, Hope? Fuck yeah, this ship. Fucking think about it. I'm the captain who steers the boat. <coughs> How it starts. <coughs> there's nothing, there's no place anywhere in the boat that you can't die and somebody will see you. You don't need a special plan for this. You just toss them off anywhere by the boat, anywhere, fall in. It, there's nobody to hear you. Ready? By the way, quick, easy murder of your wife on the boat. This is so romantic. Look at the stars. We don't get to see those kind of stars. In New York, do we, sweetie? Oh my God, all the building light. Look at, wow, I think that one's Jupiter. Come here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You guys don't know what to do. Allow me to step in. So the real question I have is, if you're taking a cruise out to Nassau, do you throw her off the boat before or after you get there? Uh, yeah, I, I hmm. Well, if you want to enjoy the the beach, <laughs> I would say after. Because uh, it's hard to throw her off and look convincingly um, sad if you're then on the beach hanging with some chicks and an umbrella drink. <laughs> I just lost my wife. I can't find her, but I paid for the fucking cruise. I might as well have a dirty banana. Might and, well uh, enjoy it. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna have a few rum drinks. The fucking I'm rock trying coat to figure out what is you're killing doing. me, Patrice. <laughs> Get your rock coat. Get your rock coat, man. <laughs> and these goofy motherfuckers are buying it. Oh, oh a rock, rock coat. coat. Wow. That rock coat is uh, great. Hold yeah. on, Ant. I'm going to go to the phones. Good morning, guys. Uh, my last duty station was in uh, Sandy Hook, New Jersey. There, Our area of responsibility was lower New York Harbor. And we were out uh, looking for a guy that fell off a Russian trader. Tell you, man, there's no fucking way you're going to find somebody out there. If they don't have a strobe light or anything with them. Plus, we used to do uh, live man overboard drills. We used to actually jump off the boat at nighttime with our strobe lights. You want to talk about fucking scary? I and this is a not. training drill. What's the official? We we did what we could, Tom. You just fucking look look for him. You just look for him until you until they tell you to stop. All right, wrap Woo-hoo! it up. <laughs> <laughs> you there? Hello. I, <laughs> I, I bet they're a little more tactful. I bet it's like, uh, Bravo. We're running a little low on fuel. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be bringing it back. Uh, yeah. No, it's, I don't know. It's burning like crazy, the fuel. I think we got a problem because uh, the gate says a half a tank, but I'm sure we have less. We're going back. This motherfucker is so drowned. So d- oh, the, oh, the mic is still keyed. Sorry. You're listening to you're listening to OB. So true. What goes through your mind to give your loved one the heave ho? I'm doing the heave ho. You're getting ready for the heave ho. You do the heave ho. So then you do the heave ho. And you know it's going to end with a heave ho. You're listening to Anthony.